The story begins with a girl named Luli cutting off a strand of her hair. Noticing this, her best friend asks her to stop it, but the girl doesn't respond. She wants to work as a programmer for a technology company, but they only allow men to work there. She advises her not to ruin her hair, but to use a wig and Luli realizes that this is great advice. Using the wig, the friends go to a restaurant to take a test to see if people will notice that the girl in front of them is not a guy, but a young and beautiful girl. This is also where the girls notice the guy at the next table. Chang is forced to meet a girl who was invited by his mother for a date. The pretty girl dreams of love at first sight, but the guy does not believe it. Noticing that he is uncomfortable with her presence and their communication, the girl gets angry and splashes a glass of water in the guy's face. Missing, the girl hits Luli, causing her and Chang to meet eyes. Embarrassed, Luli falls in love with the programmer guy at first sight. Noticing that the guy has wet hair, Luli offers her napkin and confuses Chang because he likes the girl who is dressed in a strict suit and glasses, which makes him assume that there is a guy in front of him. A little later, the girl gets a call from a technology teacher and invites her to his place for lunch. He informs her that he has decided to organize a meeting with Cheng so that Luli can get a job in the company she has long dreamed of as she is a smart and capable girl. Noticing that Cheng is the guy from the restaurant, Luli gets scared, assuming that he might recognize her without his wig and suit. The frightened girl tries to hide behind a screen, then returns to the guest with a panda mask on her head. Severely embarrassed and afraid of being exposed, Luli runs away as soon as Chang tries to remove her mask. Left alone with the teacher, Chang tries to find out why he wanted to introduce him to the strange and mysterious girl. The man claims that Lilu is a very smart and tech-savvy girl who could work in his company. The programmer is skeptical because he once had a girl working for him and they had a complicated relationship that interfered with work. The next morning, Luli dresses like a guy and goes to the office of Chang's technology company to drop off her resume. Highly nervous, she accidentally goes to the women's restroom and scares the girl, who assumes that there is a maniac in front of her. The girl shoutingly kicks Luli out and embarrasses her. The guy watching the scene decides to defend Luli, assuming that she was just nervous and mistaken. Ming meets a girl pretending to be a guy and informs her that she has an impressive resume. A little later, Ming hands the girl's resume to her boss and relates the amazing story that happened in the office lobby. Luli has excellent test scores, so Chang decides to talk to her in person. Afraid of prematurely exposing the fact that he is the boss, the guy hides his face behind glasses and a piece of paper. After a brief interview, Chang reveals his identity and reminds her that they saw each other earlier at a restaurant. He tears up Luli's resume and says he can't hire her because of the water glass incident, since someone posted a video of the incident on the internet. Chang is only willing to hire Luli if she manages to delete the video. The next day, Luli meets her mother at a restaurant as her mother's friend, accompanied by Chang, suddenly appears. Embarrassed and afraid of being exposed, the girl runs away and tries to hide in the pool. Seeing this, the boyfriend assumes the girl is drowning and jumps into the water after her to save her. Feeling increasingly uncomfortable, Luli accidentally punches the programmer in the face, after which she runs away. A couple of days later, Luli appears on the doorstep of the office in male form to show persistence and apologize for the situation at the restaurant. The girl is extremely stubborn, but Chang rejects her ideas and projects. But after talking to her father, he decides to give Luli a chance and take her as his assistant. The first thing Chang invites the new employee to a place for training climbers to solve a computer problem. The girl climbs to the top and it turns out that it was a test, which she successfully passed by showing courage and stubbornness. At the end of the test, Chang agrees to take Luli on a date, but only on the condition that she agrees to a blind date. The next morning, the girl appears in the office of the company and meets a colleague named Joan, who shows her her workplace. Having received her first task, the girl goes to the game room and feels happy. At some point, Luli decides to go to the bathroom and one of her colleagues throws a bottle under her feet. Realizing that this is a provocation, the girl throws the bottle back, because of which a conflict starts. The colleague wants to hit Luli, not realizing that the girl in a wig is in front of him, but Chang defends her in time. After the incident, 
the programmer tries to understand why Luli acted like a girl and looks effeminate. Luli asks not to be judged by her appearance, but Chan continues to be suspicious of her and tries to scrutinize her as closely as possible. At one point, the boss realizes he wants to kiss Luli's lips, but she covers them with her hand. Chang notices that the Kali does not have an Adam's apple, but Luli explains this feature with hormonal problems. A little later, the girl meets a friend and asks Chi to pretend to be her girlfriend so that the boss and co-workers will believe that she is a guy. The next morning, the girlfriends put the plan into action, but among the co-workers is Chi's brother, who is angry with his sister and demands that she break up with her new boyfriend. Chang can't tell the truth and asks her brother to be patient for a while. After that Ming invites Luli to a restaurant for lunch, but she is afraid to be alone with her Kali. In the restaurant, the girl has to try seafood, hiding her allergy. In the office she begins to itch and Ming notices it, after which she gives her colleague some medicine. At the end of the working day, Luli goes to the boss's office to help him with a special code. The girl cannot look at Chang, as she feels sympathy for him, and the guy realizes it. He almost kisses Luli again, but remembers that they need to focus on work. The next morning, the girl is overjoyed as her co-workers believe she is a guy. Soon after, the friend informs her that her brother has forbidden them to date and she needs to resolve this problem somehow. The girlfriends agree to be careful not to clash with Chi's brother. The next day, Chi's brother meets Luli and blackmails her with a photo that appears to show her flirting with her boss. The brother guesses that the girl in front of him is a girl, but threatens the girl with exposure if she continues her relationship with his sister. Realizing that the threats are real, Luli agrees to comply with her friend's brother's demands as she does not want to be fired from the company. Suddenly there is an alarm in the office due to the fact that CCTV cameras have spotted a very beautiful girl nearby. As it turns out, it is Chang's sister who is being tried to be kept out of the office. Acting brazenly, Tong breaks a window with her heel and forces Ming to go with her since she is in love with him. The next morning, Luli asks the chief to let her go home early because of an extracurricular activity, but he refuses her and demands she get into his car so they can go to the hotel. Noticing that Chang is tired, the girl gets behind the wheel and drives very fast, resulting in them reaching their destination in a matter of minutes. At the hotel, the girl learns that she will have to live in the same room with the boss and is frightened by this. Having escaped, she meets colleagues who invite Luli to the pool. The girl is shy and afraid of exposure, so she appears near the water in a bathrobe. Luli is forced to comply and takes off her robe, but it turns out that underneath it is a t-shirt with a drawing of men's muscles, causing her co-workers to mock her. At one point, the co-workers are distracted by noticing some beautiful girls nearby. They soon flee to a hotel, and Luli hides underwater after noticing the chief approaching. Chang immediately notices the girl and asks her not to behave foolishly but to wait for him in her room. In the evening, Ming suggests that Luli ask for a separate room to make her feel more comfortable. As it turns out, he saw the girl in the locker room and knows her secret, but is afraid to tell anyone. The next day, he invites Luli to lunch to tell her that he knows she's a girl, but their conversation is interrupted by Chang and Tong, showing up. After lunch, Luli goes to the stables to learn how to ride horses. The girl is good at it but at some point she loses control of the animal and the horse starts to run fast. Chang saves the girl from falling and offers his help as a riding teacher. The guy sits next to Luli and teaches her, which seems very sweet and romantic. The next morning, the men dress up as girls to take pictures for a commercial. Luli also participates in the shoot and impresses her co-workers with her beauty, as if she were not a guy but a sexy girl. Seeing Luli in a woman's dress, Chang invites her to his office. The boss asks the girl to take off her veil, but she refuses, causing Chang to start chasing her. When he succeeds, he approaches the girl and feels even more excited because she is too beautiful. Reminding himself that Luli is a guy and is subordinate, Chang asks her to change her clothes and continues to suffer through her doubts. A little later, the girl starts having stomach pains and goes to the bathroom, from where she texts her friend asking her to bring a towel. Luli tries to hide so that her boss doesn't see her, but eventually the pair meet anyway. After hearing about her stomach pains, Chang offers to go to the hospital, but Luli politely declines. 
Showing persistence, the boss takes the girl home and gives her one day off. The next day, Luli decides to take a walk in the mall, but Chang notices her and starts calling a subordinate, after which he chases the girl. Meeting Ming, Luli tells her colleague the truth and asks for help to hide. In turn, Ming admits that he found out the truth back in the day when they were swimming in the pool. He is not going to expose Luli and respects her decision, knowing how hard it is for a girl to get a job at their company. Chang continues to suspect that his subordinate and the girl he saw are the same person and decides to be more vigilant about her. In the morning, Luli's mother notices that the girl has forgotten her passport in her bag and goes to the office to return the document to her. The woman is not allowed into the office as the company only employs men, but Luli's mother claims that her daughter works here. In the evening, the mother realizes that her daughter has to impersonate her boyfriend and demands that she quit. Not daring to cross her mother, Luli asks for another week, but the father supports his daughter and the mother has to put up with her working in a man's office. A couple days later, Shang continues to have doubts about Luli and calls the teacher to see if the girl is pretending to be a guy while working in his office. The teacher asks for a resume and time to figure it all out. While waiting for an answer, Chang assigns the girl some tough assignments, but Ming helps her through them. In the evening, the mother can't sleep and notices her daughter working late. The parents watch Luli's work with interest and realize that she is an expert in programming with a huge future so they dare not ask her to quit. A week later, Luli and Chi attend an Anan party where Chang exposes the girl who has been lying to him all along. He is pleased that the girl wanted to work for the company, but he hates being lied to so he fires the girl. Luli tearfully tries to convince her boss to give her a chance, but he remains firm in his decision. Eventually, the girl asks to be given time to finish the project she has been working on and Chang gives her seven days after which she has to leave. The next morning, Chang's mother calls Luli's mother and offers to meet as she wants their children to get married. In the evening, the families gather around the same table to announce their wish. Upon learning that he is to be married, Chang gets drunk and kisses a girl in front of the whole family. Despite the awkwardness of the situation, Luli confesses to her mother that she has fallen in love with Chang and is ready to become his wife, despite the guy's boorish behavior. Of course, he wants to fire her but the girl evaluates marriage as another opportunity to be near the man she loves. A week later, colleagues prepare a cake and a farewell song to see off the quitting Luli, but she asks not to hurry. Cheng takes the girl to his office and offers to make a deal. He will allow her to work in the company, but only on the condition that she will dissuade their parents from the idea of the wedding. Otherwise, he will fire her. That same night, Chang's father informs the guy that he will bankrupt his company if he doesn't marry Luli. Not wanting to lose his favorite job, Chang agrees to sacrifice himself and marry a beautiful girl. A few days later, the couple has to sign the papers, becoming husband and wife. When they return home, they feel awkward and decide to sleep in separate rooms, despite the fact that Luli and Chang are in love with each other and would dream of being in the same bed. The next morning, Chang offers the girl to sign a contract that has hundreds of rules and restrictions. Luli agrees to sign the contract on the condition that Chang will help her with cooking, and he promises to think about it. A couple of days later, Chang's mother decides to organize a wedding photo shoot for the couple. The girl shocks her husband by appearing in a beautiful white dress, after which they choose their favorite shots and send them to the editor. Soon the customer shows up at Chang's company but because of mistakes in programming a video game, they refuse to invest in his project. The colleague who made the mistake asks Luli to talk to Cheng, so he won't be fired. She tries to do so, but Cheng is adamant and reminds his wife that she cannot manage him and his business. Cheng fires the underling who made the mistake, and Ming soothes a crying Luli, reminding her that her husband must not lose his authority in front of his subordinates. Chang notices his wife in Ming's company and is jealous of Luli, but she explains to him that they are just friends and her husband should not worry about it. Tong learns that her brother got married from Ming and doesn't understand why Chang and Luli made this decision, but wants to find out. In the evening, Luli and a colleague fix the bugs in the game, then persuade the shareholder to change his mind and accept the new version of the program. In the evening, Chang remembers Li a girl he had a crush on, causing him to make a rule that only men should work in the office. 
Thinking about it, he begins to question whether he did the right thing by letting Muli stay at the company, especially after the video game bug incident. In the end, he realizes that he made a mistake, but he doesn't want his father to bankrupt his company and tries to accept the new reality. A couple days later, Chang invites Luli to dinner and, showing up at the restaurant, meets Lee. He wonders why the girl showed up three years after she disappeared and if she wants to rip him off again. Lee claims that she has changed and missed her a lot, after which she tries to approach Chang, but he rejects her. After rejecting his first love, the guy goes to the gym where he starts crying. Luli arrives at the restaurant a little later and doesn't meet the man, so she buys food to eat elsewhere. The couple has a romantic picnic, during which Chang gives the girl a toy engagement ring and promises to replace it with a real one soon. The next morning, Li shows up at Cheng's office to talk to him alone. She asks him to forgive her, but the guy doesn't want to forgive the girl since he remembers everything she did and he still hates to think about it. Trying to prove that he's not interested in her anymore, Chang kisses Luli. Li is sad, after which she decides to come up with a plan to get close to him and ruin their relationship. To do this, she invites the couple to dinner, where she asks Chang to give her another chance so she can prove that she has changed. After getting rejected, Li hugs the guy tightly and does it in such a way that Luli sees what is happening. Ming also witnesses this and supports Luli, but the girl wants a divorce. At night, Chang's mother finds out about what is happening and takes the opportunity to remind her son how he was cheated three years ago. She asks him not to let it happen again and to be more cautious about marriage. Luli overhears the conversation and realizes that Chang only married her to prevent his father from bankrupting his company. As soon as her mother leaves, the girl declares to her husband that she also wants to divorce him. Chang recalls the terms of the contract but only does so because he is afraid of losing the company. Disappointed with Cheng, Luli goes to her friend's house to tell her what is going on in her life. She knows that Luli is in love with her husband, so she advises her to do everything she can to make him fall in love with her or else Li will steal the guy away. A little later, Luli meets Tong, who convinces her to continue living with her brother. The next morning, the pair meet and have a romantic date as a couple. In the evening, they stay at a hotel and forget about the divorce as Chang has prepared a birthday cake in honor of his wife's birthday. Continuing to remain romantic, the guy gives her a keychain in the form of a ring and promises not to give up on the marriage. A week later, Lee continues to try to get closer to Chang and asks to walk her to the hospital. The guy notices the bruises on the girl's arms and learns that her father beat her for money. Chang advises to sue the father after which Lee invites him to a friendly dinner. The next day, Lee invites Luli to the restaurant to talk to her about Chang. Lee openly declares that the guy loves only her and married Luli, not because of feelings, but for fear of losing money and respect. She is ready to do anything to get back the man she loves, but Luli knows how to stand up for herself and is also ready to fight for Chang's love. The girls decide to check whose side Chang is on, resulting in Lee calling him to invite him to dinner. Luli is sure that her husband will reject the girl's proposal, but he agrees to meet Lee and her father, after which he cancels the meeting with his wife. In the evening, Chang escorts Lee to a restaurant to meet her father. The man behaves aggressively and wants to hit his daughter, but the guy defends her. A little later, Chang apologizes to Luli and brings home dinner, but the girl is offended by him as she knows that her husband was on a date with Lee. Chang calms the girl down and claims that he was only with Li to protect her from her father's attacks, which calms Luli down a bit. Two months later, Luli finds out that she is pregnant but decides to hide it from Chang. Li's father notices the girl and pretends to be Luli's father to get more information. After learning that Luli is pregnant, Li's father calls his daughter and tells her the news, begging her to act as quickly as possible to get Chang back. Li burns her hands with hot water on purpose and her father begins to stalk Luli to harm her health. At one point, the man decides to push the girl down an escalator, but he dares not commit such a heinous crime. Li calls Chang and asks him to take her to the hospital to treat her burn. In the evening, Li's father continues to follow Luli, but she spots him and runs away, after which she calls Chang. The girl is almost hit by a car, so she goes to the hospital to make sure the baby is okay. There is no threat to the baby, 
but Luli is still sad since she saw Chang and Li together. Needing support, the girl calls Ming, and the friend arrives at the hospital in a few minutes to visit Luli. In the evening, the girl prepares dinner for her husband and decides to break the big news. She does not talk about the fact that she is pregnant, but declares her desire to divorce, which slightly shocks Chang. He does not understand the sudden change in his wife's behavior, but she is not going to explain anything either. Three days later, Chang meets with Li and informs her that he doesn't want her back in the company as they will never work together. It was only after Lu Li asked for a divorce that Chang realized that he loves her and wants to win the girl he loves with all his might. After learning this, Li cries, but Chang does not care about her worries as he is thinking about another girl. After buying gifts, Chang goes home to Lu Li's parents, but they have not seen their daughter and do not know where she is. Chang then starts looking for his wife at other technology companies and finally figures out her location. He contacts Luli's new boss and arranges a meeting. During a dinner among competitors, Chang meets Luli and tries to hide his surprise, not expecting to see her there. The boss decides to introduce Chang and Luli, but they don't need to. However, the girl states that they have never seen each other before. During dinner, everyone jokes a lot and drinks wine, but Luli drinks juice because of her pregnancy. The next morning, after talking to Luli's boss, Chang finds an opportunity to be alone with her. He asks to talk to her, but the girl rejects her husband and claims that they will only see each other in the divorce when she signs the relevant papers. In the evening, Lu Li, Cheng, Tong, and Lu meet at a restaurant. Cheng's sister calls Lu Li her sister-in-law and exposes her to her boss, who realizes that Lu Li and Cheng are spouses. Afterward, Lu Li claims they are almost divorced, and Lu calls her his girlfriend, which shocks Cheng. Unable to bear it. Chang leaves so and leaves in a fit of jealousy, and Luli faints from fear. After which, her boss takes her to the hospital. A little later, she has to confess to Lu that she is pregnant and expecting a baby with her husband, but wants to keep it a secret. In the evening, Luli and Chang meet at the observation deck. The first thing the man asks is if Lu is really her new boyfriend, but the girl doesn't answer anything. She wants to understand why Chang is interested. And he admits that he loves her and can't go a minute without the man he loves. He admits that he hurt her, but over time he realized that he wants to be by her side and asks her not to reject him. Chang promises to protect and respect Luli, to be faithful and honest. After which he hugs the girl tightly, giving in to her feelings. Luli wants to hug him back, but Chang is embarrassed and quickly leaves, asking the girl not to jump to conclusions and give him time. A week later. Cheng shows up at Lu's company office and learns that Lu Li is in the hospital. Following her, Cheng notices the girl in the company of her boss and sees them looking at the ultrasound image with a smile. Coming face to face with Lu Li, Cheng asks if it's his baby or not, but the girl remains silent. Lu intervenes and says it's his son, but Cheng wants to hear it from his spouse. Not receiving a reply, Cheng becomes upset and leaves the hospital. Seeing his son's mood, his father asks Chang to fight for his love and do everything he can to keep Lu Li by his side. The next morning, Chang receives papers with the girl's picture. He decides to meet and talk to Lu Li, but meets her boss. Chang tries to understand why they are deceiving him because he understands perfectly well that Lu is not the girl's boyfriend and certainly has nothing to do with her future child. The conversation gets out of hand. Resulting in Chang punching his wife's boss in the face. Afterward, he goes to Luli's room and hugs her tightly. He confesses that he feels bad without the girl he loves and wants to be by her side, but Luli is still unsure of his feelings. Chang states that he is ready to love her even if she is not pregnant by him, even though he guesses that it is his child. The next day, Chang asks Luli to come home and insists on it despite her attempts to resist. At one point, he decides to kiss the girl. But she won't let him do it. After taking the girl home, Chang takes care of her and cooks her dinner while Lu Li takes him to bed. A week later, they start planning a new technology training project for women, and Lu Li is happy that Chang supports her idea. She wants to make the stereotype that only men can be programmers go away. Afterwards, Lu Li apologizes for pretending to be a guy in an attempt to be part of this company. Soon after, the couple meets an investor willing to fund their project. 
Back at the office, the couple organizes a party to celebrate the important achievement. Luli is given gifts and the girl is very impressed by this attitude towards her. A little later, she is nervous about preparing a solemn speech, but Chen gives her support so that the girl is deprived of the feeling of fear. The investor is uncomfortable disturbing the couple, but he reminds Luli to give the speech. Once on stage, the girl is still nervous, but her co-workers applaud her for support, causing Luli to become more courageous and give a great speech. A little later, co-workers gather to celebrate. Luli is touched by her colleagues' support and thanks them for their help as they have given her the strength and motivation to do what she loves. She still feels guilty for pretending to be a boy, but is grateful for the chance to work in technology, as it is her calling. Ming informs the girl that they want to talk to her and takes her to a separate room where a laptop stands. Launching the game, she realizes that it is a declaration of love from Chang, who has created a magical world for the two of them. During the correspondence, Chang confesses that he has always loved only her, but was afraid to admit it to himself. After that, the door behind the girl opens and photos of them together appear on the screen, capturing the pleasant memories of Cheng and Luli. Following the photos, a crowd of male co-workers appear in front of the girl with a sign on their backs urging her to return home. Cheng soon appears and asks Luli for an answer, and she finally tells him the coveted yes. As the couple embrace, the girl confesses to her husband that this is his baby and he will soon be a daddy. Grabbing his wife in his arms, Chang screams with happiness and promises to be the perfect husband. Three days later, Chang goes to a jewelry showroom to finally buy the promised engagement ring. At that moment, he receives an important call from Ming, demanding that the chief show up at the office as soon as possible. As it turns out, he has bad news as the latest video game project has been stolen, causing them to lose a large sum of money. Chang is furious and tries to find out who had access to the programming codes. Ming informs him that only he and his team owned the data. Chang then receives a call from a former investor, Zhi, inviting him to a meeting. Upon arriving at the investor's house, Chang notices one of his subordinates next to him. Luli asks the guy how he could betray them like that by acting extremely cruel to his boss, but he doesn't answer her anything. Left alone, Zhi expresses delight at Chang's calmness in not reacting to the whole situation. Chang is upset that the former investor acted like a real thief. Ji doesn't look for excuses or try to apologize, nor does he explain his motives for his action. Instead, he suggests that Chang sell this company and makes a generous financial offer. Chang is nervous, so Luli responds instead and states that they will not sell the company. Ji is skeptical of the girl, believing that she too is capable of betraying the boss, but Chang admits that it is not only a colleague, but also his wife. After refusing to sell the company, the couple returns home, and the next morning, a traitorous subordinate appears on their doorstep. He asks to see Chang and informs them that their plan has been successfully realized. Luli is confused and doesn't understand what's going on, but it turns out that Chang and his subordinate had planned everything in advance. Zhi really wanted to steal their game, but they realized it in time and defended the project, only making the investor believe that he had succeeded. Soon after, Chang tells Luli the good news as they have sued Ji and the authorities will do their job. The girl is happy about this, but surprised by Chang's risky plan and upset that he didn't tell her anything beforehand. A month later, the couple goes to an amusement park dedicated to dinosaurs. At the entrance, Chang gives his wife virtual reality glasses to play a game. The girl points out that her husband doesn't have the glasses, but Chang states that they have different missions in this game. Once the girl passes the mission, a message appears in front of her that reads, Marry me. Soon, Chang appears in front of her with a toy bear made of roses and kneels down to give her the promised ring, after which the couple kiss passionately. In the evening, the girl prepares a romantic dinner and asks why all of this, since technically they are already married. Chang admits that initially he did it under the compulsion of his parents, but now, he wants to take the initiative, as he sincerely loves Luli. Chang proposes to have a special celebration and gets the girl's consent. The next morning, Li calls the couple and invites them to a meeting. She no longer gets involved in their relationship and congratulates Luli on her pregnancy and apologizes for the damage done to the couple. Luli is not ready to forgive the girl, but perhaps will do so in the future.
A little later, Luli and Chang go for a walk, where the guy admits that he has a very brave and wise wife. After kissing, the couple realizes that no one else can interfere with their happiness and they will never lie to each other again.